How's it going everyone? This is DJ. A couple of months ago I made a video showing you how to copy your apps from one Fire Stick and install them to another using an OTG cable and a USB drive. While that worked great for a lot of people, for some of the other TVs mounted on the wall, not so good. The Fire Stick is not accessible that easily where for some it may even require the TV to be unmounted in order to remove the Fire Stick to install the OTG cable and the USB drive. So in this video, I will show you how to copy and install files wirelessly using your computer, Android tablet, or even your Android phone. So grab your remote and let's get right to it. Now, in order to copy or install apps to or from your Fire Stick, we will need an app. So we're going to go over to the magnifying glass on the left here. We're going to scroll down where it says search, click on there. And in here, we're going to search for Explore File Manager. All you need to do is type in a couple of letters and you will see the results on the bottom and we'll already find it. So we're going to click on here and it will be the first one. So we're going to click on it. And then where it says download, you own it for me, it may say get it. You're going to click on it. We're going to wait for it to download, install it, but we're not going to open it up right away. Almost done. All right, now that we're finished, we're going to press the home button of the remote. And then in here, we're going to go to the settings. And you're going to scroll down, go down to My Fire TV. You're going to click on there. And then we're going to go to developer options. Now, if you don't see developer options on your device, all you got to do is go to about, click on there. And where it says Fire TV Stick 4K Max for me, for you it may say something different, depends on which device you're using. But you're going to click on that for seven times. Once you start clicking, you will see a countdown. And then once you click on it seven times, it will see this message. All right, so we're going to press the back button now. And then you will see developer options. We're going to click on there. Go down to install unknown apps, click on there. And then where it says explore, we're going to click on it once and it will turn it on. That's it. All right, now we're going to go back a couple of times. And then in here, we're going to go to all apps, the three box with a plus sign. You're going to click on that. And explore will be the last one that we just installed. So we can press the left on your remote, it brings it to the bottom. And you're going to click on explore over here. Here where it says files and media, we're going to click on there. And you're going to select all files. Click on that. Press the back button. One more time. And this is Explorer File Manager. All right. Now, we're going to start first with how to copy apps from your Fire Stick and download them to your computer. And then I'm going to show you how to upload files from your computer to your Fire Stick. So let's start with this first, how to copy. Now, the first thing we need to do here is we're going to go to the right panel where it says a turn share storage. You're going to click on that. And here we're going to scroll down to download. You're going to click on there once and that's it. What we did is we, we set the destination folder for the apps that we're going to copy. This is where we're going to place them. And we'll explain a little more later once we connect to the Fire Stick. Then we're going to go to the left panel. And in here, we're going to scroll down to App Manager. We're going to click on that. And then go down to Installed. Click on there. And you're going to see the list of all the apps that you have installed on your Fire Stick. Now, if you're looking to copy all the apps that you have here, you can just press and hold the OK button while we're on the Installed folder. And you select Copy. And you can see here, automatically show points it to the download folder that we selected. You're going to scroll down and click OK. Just make sure you don't put a checkbox, a check mark next to the move mode. Now, if you're only looking to copy a few apps from your Fire Stick, all we got to do is go to the middle panel over here in the menu, select Mark Files. You see it puts a little gray checkbox next to each one. And then all you got to do is select which ones you want to copy from here and download them to your computer. Now, once you select the apps that you want to copy from here, you're going to go in the middle panel. You're going to click on copy. 
and scroll it down where it says OK. Click on it. And as you can see on the right side, I already moved them over to that download folder. What we need to do now is go click on Mark Files, get rid of the checkbox, move over to the right panel, scroll up, click on Internal Share Storage a couple of times to minimize it. And then we're going to scroll down, go to the middle menu where it says Wi-Fi Server, click on that, and you see the message server started. Then go to the right where it says Wi-Fi File Sharing, so click on there, and then over here, you will see the IP address that you need to type in your address bar using a browser. All right, so now we're going to switch over to our browser. Now in here, all you got to do is type in the address in the address bar up there, and then you just press enter. And this is Explore File Manager. What do you see in the browser? All right, now, as you can see here on the left, all you see is the folders from the internal share storage, then root but we don't see App Manager. So if I switch over back to the Fire Stick here, as you can see, we got App Manager over here on the left. We don't get to see the browser window. That was the reason why we copied everything to the download folder over here, so we can have access to it. All right, now, once we click on it, we're gonna get a message here. It says, Premium Function, please continue on your device. So we switch back over to the Fire Stick here. This is a premium option, so they're asking you to either watch an ad, donate, or just don't do anything. What we're going to do is watch an ad. It's just a small ad. Usually it's about five, six seconds, as you can see here. And once it unlocks that premium function, we'll see now. It says on the bottom, it's unlocked. We can go on, on the top over here at the little X, click on it, and gets rid of it. So we go back over here. If you click anywhere in the screen, gets rid of that message too. So now we got five minutes to use Explorer File Manager. All right, now we're going to go over here where it says download, click on there. And you can see the three APKs that we copied to the download folder that we want to download to our computer. All you got to do is click on one of them, click on save as, select the folder you want to save them to, click on save. And pretty much that's it. Can do that for all the APKs that you copied over here. And then once you're done, all you got to do is select them one at a time. And then just click on delete. This will delete them from your Fire Stick so that way they don't take up space. Once you downloaded them, you don't need them on your Fire Stick anymore. Now, if you want to upload files to your Fire Stick, all we got to do is go up here to the up arrow where you see it says upload. You got to click on it. And then you go to the folder that you have the files that you want to upload. And it depends on what it is. You got you can upload pictures, you can upload a movie, a video, or APK. So you can just select them over here and click on open. Let's give it a second. And you can see they're uploading right now. There you go. Now these ones are if we go back to our fire stick. And then scroll up, go to internal CR storage, download. You can see the three files that we copied earlier, we deleted them, they're not there anymore. And the three files that we just uploaded, they're right there. All right. If you want to install something, like an APK that we have here that we uploaded, all you got to do is click on it, select install. and then click on done. You don't want to open it right away. And it brings you back over here. All right, now once you're done installing it, all you gotta do is press and hold the okay button on here and delete that file. You don't need it anymore. It takes up space. All right, now if you wanna watch a video, for example, all you gotta do is click on it and you can see it starts right away and that's it. All right, if we switch over to my tablet, it's the same thing as the browser on the computer. One thing that you have to do over here, for example, if we go over to download over here, and then we want to upload something. Once you click on upload, you're going to get this message. You got to allow access 
in order to be able to upload something. So we're going to click on while using this app and click allow. Now here you can select either if you're looking to upload any pictures, you can go to your camera. If you have, let's say, APK files that you want to upload, you can go to my files. If you click on my files now, you still see the same options over here too. You can still select images, you can find a video, music. We're going to do an APK. So we're going to click on APK installation files. And then you select the file that you want to upload. All right, click on done. And you can see the progress bar in the bottom. Now it depends on how big the file is. It kind of take a little longer. Also depends on your connection to your Wi Fi connection. And it's almost done. And there we go. And now you see we uploaded the smart APK. All right. Now the same thing if we go back to our fire stick, you will see the smart APKs over here. All you got to do is go down, click on it, select install. And that's it. Once you're done installing it, make sure you click on done. And then press and hold the OK button and delete that file. The same thing goes with the videos and the pictures, anything that you don't need anymore, just make sure you delete it. And that's about it. Now this is the same thing will be on your phone too. Whatever you see on the tablet, it's similar idea on the phone It's just a little smaller. It does come in handy, let's say if you just shot a a video or you took some pictures and you want to show it on the big screen all you got to do is just upload it here switch over to your fire stick show the pictures or your video on the tv and then once you're done just delete them all right i think that should do it for today if you guys have any questions please leave it in the comment section below and i will answer everybody's question as soon as possible if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up it does let youtube know you like what i do here and it does help my channel grow Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.